Welcome to the Daily Review. This is Federer Zach, Senior Trading Strategist here at CM Trading. And today is October 11, 2023, and today is Wednesday morning. So looking at the highlights of the day, markets mostly rebound. But first, major economic event of the day at 8 p.m. South African time out of the United States, we have an FOMC meeting minutes following the last interest rate decision. So it's a very important meeting tonight. Now looking at the various markets going into this number, starting out with the Forex symbols, the Euro and the GBP break that downwards momentum and break higher and break that trend. Now looking at the indices, both the Dow Jones and the Nasdaq continue to gain. And as we look at commodities, gold gained on the upside while oil holding on to its gains. And as we look at stocks, mostly gains across the board, but Facebook gets the biggest gain out of all of them. Lastly, looking at cryptocurrencies, Bitcoin retraces. So let's take a look at the markets and see what we can expect from today's trading. So here we go, starting out with the EURUSD, beautiful move, and you can see the downward trend that we previously had. Unfortunately, I don't have a cursor to show you with a pen, but I will try to cross to show you with the crosshairs here. This is what I'm talking about. This is the break where we broke down, we, we had that bounce, but the bounce took a further bounce, and that is what we call a breakdown of the trend downwards, okay? So since it broke that red line, as you can see here, that is trading above it. Now, we will get resistance at 106, 40-ish level, which is the 30-day moving average. But if we do continue making this higher, at least for now, this could make a rebound somewhere to this 108-ish level. The reason I say that is because it's a 50% bounce as that does make a correctional move now looking at the gbp usd also same thing trading in tandem against the dollar and as we jump into commodities gold continue breaking higher to 1868 now that has broken also it's downwards momentum now hindsight is 2020 and this is why it's so beautiful because if you look at the 200 day moving average that was a support level, and then we bounced off of it. Now, we're still in a downwards momentum, so we do have resistance-ish level at that 1890-ish level, and we are getting closer to it, but not close enough, at least for now. Now, looking at crude oil, holding on to its gains, not retracing, not selling off. So this may wait its time out until it gets its next OPEC meetings or something happens, but this, for now, is just steady at $86 a barrel. Now, as we look at the U.S. markets, Dow Jones gets to almost 34,000. Remember, this thing was at 33,000 just a week ago, so it's a tremendous comeback. And again, I overemphasize this, corporate earnings coming out next week with Tesla, and then it's going to slowly trickle down further. Now, looking at the NASDAQ, that also gained further above that 30-day moving average on the daily. Now, if you look at the weekly, we still have upwards momentum, okay? 59.67 is our high. We're trading about 700 points away from that. Now, what's the strongest stock? Ta-da! Facebook. Facebook has been so strong, and it's just been the go-to, even better than NVIDIA or anything else. This has been the one that has lifted the markets higher. Now, Apple did gain, okay, if we look at Microsoft, did gain just a little bit on day-to-day -day basis, but nothing really big to write home about, okay, but they mostly gained, okay. Now, when we look at a stock like NVIDIA, it gained, but not enough, not really enough to say that it's pushing us higher. Facebook is the leading indicator, at least for now. That's the point of me making this for now as we are making that shift higher. And let's see if we get some positive news from the FOMC, that might push us even higher going into the numbers. Now, looking at Bitcoin retracing to 27000 about $500 retracement. As we look at it on a weekly chart, we're trading in a very, very tight range. I mean, you could see that over the past, I would say since July of 2022, so over a year that we've been in really just a very, very untradable environment when it comes to Bitcoin. So just be aware of that. So you want to focus on the U.S. stocks, especially today when there's that news coming out of the United States. I want to wish everybody a great trading day. Thank you.